and this is something I wasn't didn't really know about, but apparently I need it. It's aluminum tape, which is pretty cool. Um, you need the aluminum tape because it turns out that PVC um, pipe burns if you don't use it, as you can see from my first failed experiment on this PVC pipe right here. And um, that's just about all I need. Um, oh, and an ice cream sandwich. So um, anyway, I'm going to go to the next, next step and start working on this stuff, and I'll get back with you. Okay, the next thing I've done is I've cut the aluminum foil tape and the PVC pipe both to 42 inches. Basically, I'm going to uh, mark out the aluminum foil every half inch on here so I can mark where I'm going to cut holes both through the aluminum foil tape and through the PVC pipe. Um, the first time I tried this, I tried to put the marks on the PVC pipe, but it's very hard to get a straight line on a round tube so I'm thinking maybe this time if I can mark the lines on the aluminum foil and the places for the holes I can get a much more accurate measurement and a straight line through this so I'll see you in a bit okay I finished measuring out I started one inch from the edge and I measured out all the way to the end and I left one inch on both ends just for a little space now the next thing I'm going to do is try to stick this on the PVC pipe without making a really big mess and having the tape stick to itself and things like that. Mm -hmm. See you in a bit. Okay, I was able to get the aluminum foil on the PVC pipe and I think I did a pretty good job. It seems like I got it straight across the top. So I'm pretty happy about that. This was definitely a part where I could have screwed up and had tape sticking all over the place or the line crooked or who knows what. So anyway, uh, my next step is I'm going to try to drill holes in all these little dots right here through the aluminum foil tape and through the PVC pipe with my electric drill. I wish I had a drill press. It would probably make this a much more accurate job, but um, I'm not going to spend that much money on nonsense like this. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, I finished the next phase of the process here. I cut holes along all my marks all the way across the tube. And uh, that probably took longer than most parts. And it wasn't perfect because uh, I was doing a freehand, but that's not bad either. I think it's good enough for this purpose. So now I'm off to the next phase. I'm going to put uh, the tube connected to the propane and to this piece of pipe with the holes and the aluminum tape. You see what I did with the water hose here is I wrapped a little bit of black tape around the end and this fits kind of almost perfectly into the side of the PVC pipe and you can actually kind of screw it in there and it threads in yet the black tape creates a pretty good seal. As you can see I've connected the... oh well, let me turn on the light here for you. As you can see, I've connected the tube to the propane blowtorch through here, and I've lit it, and I'm just kind of trying to test, I really want to see if I had enough pressure for this, and I think I just have just enough pressure. I also want to look to see if it's burning the PVC pipe, and it doesn't really look like it is, which I'm really kind of surprised about, because this flame is still very close to the PVC, but yet maybe part of the problem was, or maybe part of the, what the aluminum foil tape helps do is kind of dissipate the heat since it aluminum conducts heat so well. But it looks like this is doing pretty good, so I'm pretty happy with this. The next part of the Rubens tube is going to be to connect a speaker to one end to see what that does. Okay, I don't know what's happened here, but for some reason, I don't know if I'm not getting enough pressure on the propane. Or maybe my propane is running low, but the fire is just very low in here. So um, I think maybe tomorrow I'll get another can of propane. And uh, I'm pretty sure everything is sealed, so I know I'm getting all the pressure out of that bottle. But anyway, that's enough for tonight. Hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to figure out why these flames aren't shooting up higher. Signing off. Tomorrow when 
I still haven't gotten very far, although I haven't really done much on it except for, well, I did a couple things that didn't work. Here's some blow on it if, if you want. One thing I did was I put another piece of tape over the holes and then cut, poked little tiny holes in there so there wasn't as much room to get it out to hopefully get a little more pressure and hopefully get the flames a little higher. I still don't think that's really high enough to do anything because they're just going to go out. And uh, I also, if you notice, I, I cut the tube in half. I think basically the biggest problem with everything I've done so far is this bottle of propane right here and this blowtorch that I got to um, feed the propane. It just doesn't let enough out at a time and um, I'm not going to mess with that mechanism because I'll blow myself up. And uh, so I think really the only way to get this thing to work is to find myself a better supply of propane, bigger bottle, and something that lets more propane out at the same time. And I don't want to get to that, but um, maybe over the Thanksgiving weekend. See you later.